Welcome to Kermode Uncut and welcome to the wonderful world of movie vinyl. I'm doing a program for Radio 2, it goes out in a month or so's time, I'll tell you when it's coming up. And one of the things that we're concentrating on is movie soundtrack records, not CDs, not downloads, but actual proper vinyl records. Look, for those of you who are too young to remember this sort of thing, this is what a piece of vinyl looks like. It's very, very old fashioned, look. Look at that. Look at all those tracks. Oh, every single one of those is a groove. This is the soundtrack to Lemon Pop School, which is one of my favourite soundtracks. It's one of those kind of pop jukebox soundtracks in the sort of mould of American graffiti. Just looking through my own vinyl collection, this is a very treasured vinyl soundtrack album to Jeremy. An absolutely beautiful, heartbreaking love story from the early 70s, featuring the wonderful vocal talents of Robbie Benson. I have a room. I have a Heard us talking about this on Radio 5 recently. Apparently Simon Mayo wasn't convinced. This, this is another favourite. Look, this is an original Silent Running soundtrack album. The best thing about this was you could sit there, you could look at that on the front. Then, whilst you were listening to the fabulous music by Peter Shickley and, of course, the voice of Joan Byers, you could look at the pictures on the back and they sort of tell the story of the film. You see, you don't get this with CDs. CDs are too small. This is a Japanese import of the soundtrack to Cruising. It's a William Friedkin film which I absolutely love. This was a, got for me by, by a Japanese friend, in fact. Very, very good quality Japanese soundtrack imports. And uh, again, you know, a, a, an arresting array of photos on the back. On the subject of William Friedkin, one of the albums that we're going to be talking about in the programme is this. This is the Tangerine Dream soundtrack to Sorcerer, which was barely seen in this country, totally flopped when it first came out. It's just in the process of getting a theatrical release worldwide prior to a Blu-ray re-release. They premiered, I think it was v at Venice, they did a kind of, you know, a 4K transfer of it. It looked absolutely fabulous, but for people of a certain age, we grew up listening to the soundtrack of Sorcerer long before I think we ever sort of finally saw the film. So my question to you is this, because I'm putting the programme together at the moment, and I'd love your input. What are your favourite soundtrack albums? Which are the ones that you surround yourself with? I mean, look, here's, here's Mary Poppins and Dick Van Dyke doing an impression of Shia LaBeouf, as it turns out. Here's a soundtrack to Cabaret, which everyone of a certain age owned. Here is the soundtrack to That's Entertainment, which is a kind of compilation of all the best songs from all the best movies, as they were considered to be way back when. So which are the albums that you go back to? What forms your oral video collection? Did you collect vinyl like I did? And which are the ones that I shouldn't leave out of the forthcoming programme? Let me know.